everyone. It's Christine Stitch All The Things. Welcome to my channel today where uh, I am going to talk about some stitching stuff this week. That's mainly what my channel's about. Um, if you're new, I hope you'll stick around and see if my videos are something that you like. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Um, I need to quickly address the apology that I put in last week's video. I didn't really want to bring it over into another video, but it, it really needs me to put a period on it. Um, I did not expect the response that I got uh, last week. Um, I need to say that I, I was really glad that that viewer felt comfortable enough to approach me um, and let me know how she felt. Uh, I, um, it really gave me some time to reflect on that term and come to my own decision as to whether I want to use it or not. Uh, and I decided that that's not a term I want to keep in my vocabulary. I'm going to remove it. Um, I really need this to just kind of complete this issue. I'm not going to address it again. Uh, but I do want to say that the one thing that was consistent throughout from that viewer's first email all the way to everyone's comments was that you all, every one of you, uh, recognize the intent of my heart. And that is to be kind and not hurtful. And I cannot thank all of you, every single one of you enough uh, for knowing that, for recognizing that. It, I really appreciated um, and appreciate, not past tense, um, that you all know that. So thank you all so much for that. Uh, okay, so we need to move on because we are all here to talk about stitchy stuff, right? So let's get to that. I had to stop the video right after that because my washer started going. <laughs> I forgot that I had it on. It was making such a racket. Okay, so I hope you didn't hear any of that. Uh, by the way, I did tell my husband. I showed him the video. <laughs> I was laughing so hard. I showed my daughter and she and I were both cracking up. And then every time we'd look at him, we'd start cracking up. And so that's not fair, right? You're like, why the heck is everybody laughing at me? And so since we all were getting a nice, good laugh um, out of what Brad did last week with buying me that chart twice, I showed him the video and <laughs> he just shook his head and he looked at me and he's like, you have to stitch something from that now. I bought it twice. So um, he enjoys that he was able to bring some laughter into, into our lives last week. Okay, so yesterday went to Hobby Lobby um, in the day to find a frame for Lizzie Kate. I did not find a frame. I did find some other things. We, uh, I will adjust those in a minute. We got home. And I started stitching on um, this, uh, the traveling, what's this called? Traveling stitcher. I named it the Mar renamed it the Margaret Pouch, as you all know. Okay, so um, I actually didn't get to this till late because I was dealing with comments and stuff, um, trying to catch up. I am all caught up on my YouTube comments. I was like three videos behind. Now I have to catch up on commenting on videos I watched, and I'm like two weeks behind on that. But I made some decent progress on this. Um, I finished the girl uh, and her hair and her shoes and her purse or whatever she's holding. I added 2019 and the heart. Um, I did an extra row. I actually extended, I think I had stopped the grass right in here. So I extended it to its end and then, and then brought this whole line back, stitched the whole line underneath it. Um, and then I stopped Last night, it was probably about 10. I had at least another hour worth of stitching. I could have finished the tree that's right there. Um, there's a tree and then the house starts and the finishing the tree would have been really nice. So then tonight, all I had to worry about was the house, but I didn't because I was, one, I wanted to read through Elizabeth Weston because I hadn't done that yet. Um, if you've got if you've bought a Hands Across the Sea sampler chart, then you know um, how, how much information they give you history on the person, the sampler, um, items represented in the sampler. Um, this one was the Temple of Fame. They talked a lot about um, the origins of that. Um, sometimes it'll be about the area that the, the uh, person who stitched the sampler grew up in. 
Um, all that's very interesting to me. And so I really took some time to read that. Um, and then I went over something I bought at Hobby Lobby. So let's talk about Hobby Lobby purchases first. Okay, I went and I got all of the floss for a savior's price. My finger just snagged some floss out there. How annoy annoying is that for me? I don't know why. Uh, they had everything at, I keep saying I went to Hobby Lobby. No, I didn't. I went to Joann's in Bullhead City. It's like an hour and a half away. Um, they had everything except 3012. So I'm going to have to go to my Hobby Lobby and get that. Uh, they did not have any frames that I wanted at all. Uh, the other thing I bought was um, some um, pearl cotton so that I could for lacing. I had a bunch here and I can't find it. I must have gotten rid of it. Um, and then the other thing I got. Okay. I don't know what to show you first. Um, all right. I'll just show you this because it goes with this and I'll show you why. Um, I, before I started quilting long time ago, um, and, and, and I was quilting before I was stitching, I used to embroider. And I think I've said that a lot. Um, embroidery is really, um, one of the first crafts that I, I really started doing and I loved. And I walked by this book and I immediately was like, I need that in my life. Um, I've sort of uh, been attracted to embroidery again. Uh, that's what I was talking about. Like, I'll show you something else. Um, I'll get to that in a minute. But I thought I'd do a really quick flip through of this. Um, this is Stitches from the Harvest. This is by Kathy Schmitz. She actually is based in Portland, Oregon. Uh, she's got a website. She designs fabric for Moda. She's got her own quilt patterns. She's got a lot of embroidery. She actually has an embroidery of the month where you can either pay like 24 bucks for the whole year in advance, or you could pay two bucks a month. And once a month, she sends you an embroidery pattern. Um, I so wish my first thought was, oh, I want to join that. And then my second thought was, I wish some of our cross stitch designers would do that. It's a PDF. You just get it. Sometimes she gives you um, just the pattern. Sometimes she gives you a tip. Sometimes she gives you um, a finishing instructions, but not always. Um, how cool would that be, right? Hint, hint. Designers, I would totally sign up for like a, a little PDF pattern of the month. Okay, anyway. So this is, she's got three books. Uh, one is a Christmas book, I think. One is maybe a spring. I can't remember. Um, but this harvest, autumn stuff right now. I, I know we're just getting to spring. Everybody's ready for spring. And our autumn is screaming at me, like shouting my names from the rooftop. Um, so I'm going to do a quick flip through of this book. Um, these are some of the patterns in it. Mm, that little jack-o'-lantern thing is just adorable. Um, hand embroidery inspired by Autumn. She's got her table of contents. Um, this is by Martingale Press. Um, she's got, the pictures in here are just beautiful. Nice introduction, what inspired all of the pieces in here. Um, and then with everything, I'm just only going to show you on this one. Otherwise, I'm just going to show you the pictures. She includes, um... Obviously, the uh, instructions, finishing instructions are included as well for everything. I really, this trio just kills me. I love them. Love, love them. Um, and then, of course, finishing instructions here. And then, of course, the pattern and, um, and uh, the embroidery key down there. Um, so, yeah. I'm not going to show you all of that for all of the others. I'm just going to show you what they are. This is the Autumn Leaf Needle Keeper. Oh, I love it. Love it. I don't know why Autumn is just yelling at me right now. Um, but yeah, uh, she's got a little few instructions on how to get that done there. Really neat. Okay, and then the embroidery pattern, finishing instructions. Um, this is the black satin sachet. Now, the one thing I notice is when she's done with her embroidery, 
the fabric ends up looking textured and that's because she does some hand quilting. Now I've wanted to try hand quilting but it intimidates me and I, who, who's got time for that, right? So I uh, actually like these little projects because it will let me dabble in some easy, no pressure hand quilting because um, it's not going to matter. These are so prim looking. It's not going to matter if your stitches are long or small or anything. Um, and this will be a really good way for me to get into that. This table runner, look at that. Yeah. And now I'm not going to start doing embroidery all the time on my channel. I just want to show you this book because I ran across it. I did get it. It said it was uh, all books were 30% off and it didn't ring up. And I told the lady, can I use my 50% off coupon? And she's like, sure. So I got it for $12.50. Uh, but yeah, this is the main pattern in this book that I just love. And all things give thanks is what it says. I know my camera started to focus and then was like, nope. Uh, One of these days I'll figure out how to do these videos. Um, these cute little towels, great rewards, kitchen towels. I won't stitch these, uh, but those are cute little kind of rustic things. That squirrel, he's a chubber. He's cute. I like my squirrels chubby. All right, this harvest pillow, super cute. I really love it. I know the glare from the window is bad so I apologize for that I'm trying not to show the pattern so it just turns and the curve of the book um, ends up ends up shining okay now y'all know my love of bunnies right this bunny is called Hazel and I love her so much no sarcasm none I am dead serious Look at Hazel. Okay, Christine, come on, let's do it. There she is. I could just die. I love Hazel. If a bunny's going to be named anything, it should be Hazel. Okay, in a nutshell purse. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I was showing the pack. I know they're not quite focusing as well as they should be. I think it's because my sewing machine is right there. I can't move it, though, because the microphone is sitting on the table. All right, look at this. Nutty's Nest Notion Keeper. Look at him. Nutty. Oh, my gosh, I'm dead. Like Steph says, I feel like Steph right now. I am dead on the floor. Nutty. Oh, this pink cushion is cute. These are all definitely sort of prim looking. Prim is not normally my style, but it's the autumn thing right now. I just, I'm just all for it. And this welcome home one with this cornucopia is just so cute. And that bird. I love it. I love this book. Um, I think we are almost done. All right, the Crimson Bounty Tote. They use some toweling there, and it's all stitched in red, and I love red work, and that is just the cutest. Could you imagine lining? Oh, sorry. It's just really... Lining a tote bag like that with that toweling with some ticking or red gingham. Um, and then they, the instructions on that tote, have you get enough of that toweling so that you can make these little pouches if you wanted. Those are super cute. I don't know why the autumn. Okay, now in the back, um, she's got embroidery basics. Oh, the one thing I forgot to say, all of the flosses in this, gentle arts. So I sort of feel like I should include this from Stitch from Sash, but I'm not going to. It's embroidery. It's not cross-stitch. I'm not going to. She's got all of her embroidery stitches in the back. And um, a few, she's got some cording. We got Vana. I'm gonna, I'm gonna always follow Vana's because I love Vana. And this is the author. 
from Portland. I bet she goes into acorns and threads all the time. I mean, for gentle arts, right? Okay, so why am I into embroidery right now? All right, I've mentioned several times that I uh, have a blog. I post uh, to do Tuesday posts um, and other quilters and crafters, they just link up and share their posts. Uh, there are people still alive in the blog world, believe it or not. Okay, so last week, one of the quilters uh, linked up a post and she's doing some traveling and she said that she wanted to do some handwork uh, while she's doing some traveling. And so she was looking for a piece to embroider and she was on, um, uh, what is this? I, I always want to say it wrong. Okay. I always want to say Crabtree. It's Crab Apple Hill Studio. Uh, they have the cutest patterns. Uh, some of you may have seen the witches. They've got witches embroidery um, and they put it into a quilt. Um, I think, um, uh, Pumpkin Hollow Studios has done one of their quilts. Um, that's Olivia, right? Uh, anyway, so she showed the pattern that she decided to do uh, from Crab Apple Hill Studios. It's a free pattern. It's a free PDF on their website. I am not going to link to the pattern because I, I am one of those people who believe that if they're going to put it up for free, we can do the work and Google it. Um, but it's the spring bouquet. And the technique is to actually color in the pattern and embroider. So you get this beautiful, soft watercolor look. Okay, that's spring bouquet. They have a summer bouquet. And those are both gorgeous. And you think right now they'd be screaming at me. Um, no, they're not. Do you know why? Because autumn is. This autumn bouquet is absolutely gorgeous. So is this Christmas bouquet. Uh, and Crab Apple Hill uh, has has partnered. Uh, they sell Cosmo Floss. I think that's done by Lessian. I, I don't know how you say that. Uh, Cosmo Floss is big in embroidery world. And uh, I think some people like it, some people don't. Um, these Each of these has a uh, a pack of floss to go with them and the chart is the the charts free on the website and then you can just get the floss of course uh, if we all have a big stash of floss we can we can make it work but what I did is I found the packs are like $25 and I found an Etsy seller who had them for 15 and so I ordered Christmas and autumn because these two I want to do uh, and so I'll be getting those in. so yeah when those flosses come in, I will share. I will tell them with you. I will put the name of the designer down below, but no links to the website. Just Google Crab Apple Hill Studio, um, and they've got a section on their website for free patterns. Uh, they've even got like a free embroidery how-to guide if you need that. Um, it's great, and their patterns are beautiful. Um, so when I start doing that, I'll share my progress, but it may be a while. Um, so this was a long first segment as per usual, uh, but I just wanted to do that little book flip through um, in case anybody likes that. Uh, I know everyone's feeling spring. I'm feeling autumn. So I will check in with you tomorrow. Tonight's plans, um, the whole week, the whole week's plans are to be working on um, this piece and hopefully I can get it finished done. So I'd really like to get um, this tree done tonight and then probably the house by tomorrow night. So with that, I will check in with you tomorrow. Bye. Hi everyone. Today is Tuesday, March 27th. I didn't record yesterday because I didn't stitch Monday, so I did not have anything to talk about. But I did do a little bit of stitching last night. Uh, I'm stitching on the traveling, what is this called? I renamed it as we all know, traveling stitcher. And I got as far as finishing up the tree and then starting the house right beside it over here on this side. Oh, you can't see my finger. So I'm hoping tonight to work on the house and get that completely finished. Um, and then all I'll have left are the words underneath. Um, and I decided I am, there's actually like a checkerboard sort of 
um, grass area right here, but I'm gonna take that out. And I think probably in either the brown, maybe the green, so it kind of blends, or if I want to stand out this ladybug color, I'm gonna do stitch nanigans in like a script lowercase font across there. Cause that is one long word. Um, and so it took me a while to find something that could work in this little area right here. Um, because there is a bit of area where the words come down. Um, you can see right in there. I will, I can fit stitch nanigans in there, but it goes right above the apostrophe. It has to start up in there. So yeah, I took that extra grassy area out. So I, um, I will have some extra room to fit that word in there. Okay, so I've gotten some purchases in. I, I sent Carrie a voice message on Instagram, but I forgot to mention this one. Okay, I think I have mentioned my love of needle cases in the past, specifically the needle cases you get from Sublime Stitching. Um, I started out cross uh, doing embroidery, and the very first needle case I got from them was this one, because I, I was starting to quilt at the time too. And so, of course, this reminded me of quilts. So this is the first needle case I bought from them. The second one I bought was this one that looks like amazing embroidery. I don't know who the artist is. Um, and the back side is exactly the same. And these, these embroidery cases typically go in my, oops, in my travel pouch. Uh, what I include in them usually, this is more empty, um, is on one side they've got some wet wipes and then on the other um, there's magnets on both sides. Um, the other one has a pair of scissors, it has a needle threader, several needles, and a snag nabbit in there. That's this big one right here. So every single case, both of those cases have that. All of my traveling stitches all come with that sort of thing instead of wet ones, I took the uh, KFC ones and put them in there. And this fob right here is a patriotic fob. It was made for me by Carrie and Stitches. Love that. Okay, so I just purchased another one. I happened to go to their website for some reason. Did I go to their website? Maybe I got an email. I've been sucked in by the ads this week, the last couple weeks. And I saw this beautiful needle case by Natalie Lette. It's gorgeous. And I was like, that is mine. The artwork is by her. This is the back. This is the one, one of the cases I have where the back is actually different. And it is just stunning. I love it so much. I don't know if it's actually showing up or if it's kind of blurry for you. That didn't focus too well. Anyway, this needle case is just gorgeous. And this is what they look like when they're empty. They have uh, elastic on either side and then magnets are lined. And so I just take my wet ones and I stick them in under the elastic, slide them down in there. And then on the other side, I'll put a, a needle threader. I just got these as a gift from Pam. Thank you, Pam. And then, of course, my John James needles. I usually use 28 or 26s. Okay, so another thing that I got, y'all know I've been trying to um, get a frame, or I was gonna get a frame for things unseen. So, no luck at Joann's. Went to Hobby Lobby and I found, and then we found this one. And it's sort of like a, it, it's weird to say, but it's like a cool tone black. And I say that because all of the black seem to have like a brown base to them. And this almost has like a gray base to it. You know what I mean? And it's all supposed to be all kind of roughed up and scuffed up. So the piece looked fine in that. Except I'm not, like, I'm not a thousand percent sold on the frame. Because what I realized is I think what I really wanted 
was a frame that matched the pink. And maybe that's too much, but I, that's sort of what I, I think, by the time I got home, I realized that's what I wanted, was a pink frame, this raspberry color. So I went on eBay and I found one and I ordered it and this morning I looked at the picture and I think it's a little too pink, but we'll see when it gets here. Um, and so I'm not going to pin or lace that until the second frame gets here. And I know that I can use this black one again for something else if I don't like the pink one. And I know there'll be a project somewhere in my life that if I like the black one best and don't like the pink one for this, I can use that one. Okay, so that's enough of that. Okay, so the one thing I did buy, I told y'all that I wasn't gonna buy a clock for this room. And I was on Quiet Play's website. One of the people who link up to my blog post was showing a foundation paper piece block that she did. Uh, if you don't know what that is, uh, it's where you get the pattern printed on paper and you actually sew your fabric pieces to the paper and then you tear off the paper later. Uh, there's a designer, Quiet Play. Um, her name is Christy, K-R-I-S-T-Y. And she designs amazing foundation paper piece patterns. Um, and she loves rainbow. So, you know, she's right up my alley, right? Uh, she has, has, I almost said had, she has a, um, a foundation paper piece pattern of a sewing machine in rainbow color. She's got a lot of rainbow color patterns. I think I just said that like five times in a row. Um, so I bought this clock. This is the clock and it is perfect for this room. Now I actually bought this particular pattern a while ago. And Christy right now, she has a like foundation paper piece pattern of the month thing that she's doing for 2019. I forget what she calls it. Um, but you get three paper piece patterns every month. Um, the pattern is gorgeous. The finished pattern, um, I, I've got a picture over here. I really wanted to do this, uh, but I'm late to the game. And right now, the only way you can do it is you gotta pay $85 the full year up front. And I think a monthly cost would be okay, but I just don't know that I wanna pay $85 for all of these patterns up front. So I'm gonna wait till the end of the year and see if she's gonna sell some of those patterns individually. Um, and then I could pick them up that way because I do have the sewing machine one already. I like some of the words. The whole thing is really inspirational and I think it would be really fun to sew each of the blocks up separately and quilt and bind them separately and then have like a, a collage on the wall of all of those like different little mini quilts, right? Like mini, mini quilts. I think that would be really fun. So that's that. I do have some more mail coming this week. So I will check in with you tomorrow. We'll see how far I get tonight on the traveler pouch. Fingers crossed I finish the house. And then tomorrow after the mail gets here, we'll see what I got coming. Bye. Hi everyone. Today is Thursday, March 28th. I have no stitching to show you because yesterday just was Wednesday, but felt like a Monday. So you're probably wondering why are we having a video the next day if you didn't do any stitching? Because I got stuff in the mail, y'all. Okay, so I saw Kathy Haberman posted a post, posted a post. Uh, she put a post somewhere um, about her, with her stitching. And beside her stitching or within the picture, she had a picture of this teacup that infuses loose tea leaves and I I'm gonna tell you my whole stream of consciousness thought because I'm leading up to I bought the tea thing okay so I see the picture and I was like man I wish I could be cool like that like a one I wish I drank more hot tea but I'm a coffee girl and then it was just like that's just the coolest thing so probably, I don't even know how many days later it was. Could have been a week, could have been five days, could have been three days, I don't know. But Vana, the Twisted Stitcher, posts on, I see her post on Facebook, that because of Kathy Haberman posting this, she got the same teacup and a set of tea, uh, of the loose leaf tea from this company on Amazon. And my next thought was, man, I want to be cool like Vana now. And once I saw her teacup, I was like, oh my gosh, I really love that. And I think I posted exactly that 
on her post because I'm that kind of a dork that one, I wanted to be cool like Kathy Haberman, and now I wanted to be cool like Vana. And then I went back and said, a whole bunch of these are going to show up on floss too. And they probably are. I'm still watching other people's floss tubes, so I don't know if anybody else got that. Okay, so Vana got hers, I'm assuming from Amazon. I think that's what she said. And she got the cup, which was red with white snowflakes and uh, like a sampler of teas. So I went to Amazon and the cup I saw that I loved was the cherry blossom cup. But it was like 20 bucks. And I was like, oh, I don't really wanna pay 20 bucks plus the tea. And I know Vonna got hers for cheaper. I think her set with the cup and the tea was like maybe 15 bucks if you got Prime or something like that. So I went to the website. It's Tea Forte is the, the company. And they were having a 15% off and free shipping. And I was like, mm-hmm. Um, and I will, I'm talking now, so, but I'll get to show you what I got. And then on Amazon, the thing that sold me, that made me go, yes, was this particular assortment of teas. Y'all are going to die laughing when you see what I got. Well, maybe not laughing as hard as last video, but I thought it was funny. And I'm going to tell you now. I'm putting my referral link below because once you buy something, if you refer a new customer, um, one, the, the new customer gets 20% off and then I get a referral fee for some amount. I don't know what it is, uh, but anyway, you don't have to do that. I'm just going to tell you. I'm actually going to put links to the Amazon stuff below as well as T4T and then just disclaim that it's the referral link they sent me in an email because this is the coolest y'all okay here's my cup i got the cherry blossom and when you open the box up you have the ceramic lid right on top and you pull that out and then there's a little thing dividing the cup and I think it's an insulated cup. I didn't like, I got excited. So yeah. Um, so it's it's insulated and look at that cherry blossom. It's so pretty. And then you've get, got the tea infuser, the strainer that goes in the top of the cup. Sorry for the packaging. I, I'm really close to the mic. So you just set this in there and then there's a notch in the lid and you can just let it steep like that. And then when you're, it's done steeping, you just take the lid and then set the strainer in it. How cool is that, right? And I'm actually gonna make a cup of tea. But I have to show you the tea that I got. Okay, they had all sorts of different assortments. Breakfast blends, whatever. I got the Herbal Retreat because of the names. These sound amazing. Apricot Amaretto, Blueberry Merlot. The middle one is, um, I think it's Mandarin Mojito. No, Mojito Marmalade. Then Cherry Cosmo and Kiwi Lime Ginger. How could I not get that? I can just smell it right now and it smells, it smells amazing. So I am going to make the, I'm going to make the mojito marmalade. Um, and it says that these are caffeine free. I was looking, um, let me get my glasses to be sure. And these are single steeps. So you just pour the whole single packet. There's two of each flavor in this. And you just pour 12 ounces, you pour the single steeps into the infuser, you pour 12 ounces of boiling water over the tea and you steep it for five minutes. Um, and it says, day or night, these restorative caffeine-free herbal infusions are an ideal way to relax the mind and revive the spirit. Each blend together, each blend brings together USDA organic certified herbs, fruits and flowers for a supremely calmly ritual. Actually, I don't know if it's a good idea if I do this. I got work to do, uh, but I'm going to do it anyway. So be right back. Okay, so I went and I did the tea thing. And it said to put 12 ounces in there. Uh, 
and I didn't even get all 12 because the water came up to the top. So I'm gonna let that steep for a few minutes. Um, I have to address a thank you card I received. Um, I sent a gift to a viewer's um, child and I'm not going to say the viewer or her child's name, uh, at least not the last name, but I received a thank you card and look, I got this drawing. This is amazing. Look at how cool that is. 3D optical illusion. I love this. I actually need to frame this. Um, and I went to Hobby Lobby and forgot to look for a frame, of course. So I will say your first name, but I won't say last. John, thank you so much. That is amazing. And I absolutely love it. So thank you so much for taking the time to draw that for me. That is just spectacular. Okay. Another thing I received today. I don't know if I told you about this or if this was part of my confession to Carrie. I think I, I've talked about it and I think it was in a confession message to my accountability partner, Carrie. But um, Cheryl of Glendon Place sent out an email saying that she had found from 20, these are 2018 market exclusive patterns and kits. And she found that she had like seven Ada kits left and I think 20 some odd um, even weave kits left. And the first time I saw it, I really loved the pattern. And I was like, you know, I think I'm going to pass. I don't need that. Y'all, I totally needed this. I, when I saw it this time, I was like, I need that. One, because I get sucked into the exclusive only 22, 28, whatever it was left. Um, Josh would love this. And then I, when I was reading the description, it stitched with Sulky. And everybody, okay, right now, as a sewer... Uh, I, I've used sulky thread. I'm like, I don't understand what's happening right now. Like, why is everybody going crazy over cotton thread? Um, but I wanted to try it because I realized it was 12 weight. I actually have some 28 weight Aurifil, um, spools here that are, are small. Um, and I want to try two strands of those and see what it's like. Aurifil also does 12 weight cotton. Um, and I want to get some of that and see how there's this because I'm an Aurifil girl. I love Aurifil thread. I use it all the time. And Aurifil actually does floss as well. And I have uh, some of that somewhere. Um, anyway, these are the petites. That is what is used in this pattern. And I thought, okay, I'm going to get it. So for 40 bucks, I got the pattern. I got the, the set of Sulky, so now I get to try those and find out why everybody's raving about sewing thread. And it's actually thick, so it's embroidery thread. It's like with your needles, the bigger the number, the smaller the thread. So the smaller the number, the bigger the thread. And so basically it's just, this is thick thread. That's all. You can use it in your sewing machine if you want and embroider with your sewing machine. Okay, so the fabric that comes with this is Bramble um from picture this plus and it's actually linen this is a really beautiful light color i didn't realize how light bramble was um yeah that's that's really pretty i think that's coming up pretty true let me try this side the window's right over there yeah that's beautiful uh but feels i'm really surprised it feels rough and scratchy that's not like picture this plus. I don't know why it feels so rough and scratchy. Uh, and with that also came some, um, let me see if this is just regular DMC. No, Sullivan's. Sullivan's black, dark brown, and tan floss, as well as um, just another button company stars. Button stars. So yeah, this is all kitted up now, ready to go. Um, and I'm excited about this. I may actually end up, I wasn't gonna take any new starts or anything to the retreat, but I may take this just in case I wanna just start it and see what that floss is like. If there's anybody else there who's stitching with this floss and they have any tips or tricks or whatever, I may ask them, but you know, I'm kind of stuck over, Sarah probably knows what I'm talking about in the, it's just thread. I don't understand, but I'm going to find out because everybody's raving about it. All right. So the other thing that I got in, you remember I was telling you I got these embroidery patterns at the beginning of the week. The PDF patterns are free 
from the Crab Apple Hill website. Just go to Crab Apple Hill, um, Google that, and look for the free patterns. Um, but they have floss packs that come with them. This is the autumn floss pack. These are Cosmo flosses, kind of common in the embroidery world. Um, that was the autumn. This is the Christmas. Now I opened the I opened up Christmas because one I wanted you to see the variegation on these flosses. They're just out of this world. And two, I wanted to tell you that people said I've read that people have said these are itchy, scratchy flosses. And I felt it, and they're not wrong. Okay, I don't know how well I can hold those up. But the variegation on these flosses are just stunning. I really love them. And I did touch the flosses and feel them, and they remind me of anchor flosses. So they're not soft and, as DMC. They're not terribly scratchy. They're not as scratchy as Weeks feels to me, uh, but they kind of feel like, um, they feel like, oops, um, what did I just say? Anchor. Let me get that floss. And then I will open up the autumn pack and show you the variegation on those. They're just beautiful. I'm excited to stitch with these. I may take some time over the summer. Oh, wait till you see these, like this royal blue. Oh my goodness. I hope I can show it good enough. I hope the colors come through on my video. I don't know if they will. They're just stunning. Uh, beautiful variegation. So I'm excited to work with these. Um, and yeah, like I said, I may um, take and do some embroidery over the summer. Now remember, these are the patterns. They have you color inside. So you trace out your design and then you actually use crayons to color. And you can even use um, colored pencils, but the uh, for this one, it's crayons. Okay, that's it for today. I need to try my tea. I let it steep long enough. My husband just got home. He does not know I bought this tea forte stuff. So I got the basket. Oops, it's dripping. Oh, that's good. This was, uh, what did I say? Mojito Mandarin. It's very, it's minty. Obviously. That's very good. That's quite delicious. So, um, anyway, thank you for joining me today, listening to me ramble. Um, and I will check in with you tomorrow. Hopefully, cross-stitch progress. Bye. Hello, everyone. Today is Friday, March 29th. Um, I decided to... Uh, go ahead and record today after lunch and show you the progress I made last night. I met my goal of finishing the house on the traveling stitcher. And so that little house is done. And I don't think I've mentioned it in the last week or two, but um, that I've been stitching on this, but that needle minder um, over here, <laughs> everything's backwards, um, is from Colette, the highway stitcher. She gifted me that um, because it reminded her of Josh. Um, so that was kind of exciting. Um, I love I love him, obviously. Uh, so anyway, just thought I'd, I'd mention that. All I have left to do now are the words, um, a little bit of a green sort of viney thing there, and a little flower um, kind of in the words right in, in the center part. And then the border on the bottom. And then I need to um, stitch and stitch shenanigans on there somewhere. And then do the needle case uh, cover. I got mail today. This whole video is everything that I bought like a week or two ago. Showing up in my door in two days' time. And <sighs> I walked in with all these packages today. And Brad just looked at me and went. And I was like. <laughs> okay, but this one y'all know I ordered. It came in today, a Savior's Praise. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, Julie sent this. Uh, funny thing, I just got my shipping notice last night, and I was like, yeah, and <laughs> it showed up today. <laughs> um, super excited about this. If you remember, I told you Ellen, needleworker Ellen, um, sews, uh, sews, stitches her, stitches on her a Savior's Praise on Sundays. I really wanted to 
to start this on Sunday, but I, I need to finish the traveling stitcher. So I'm going to delay my start on that a week, possibly two to after stitch shenanigans. We'll see. I may get so anxious. Uh, I've got my fabric and flosses. I'm ready to go. My fabric is actually something I took out of a, um, I forgot, I forgot the designer's name and Elsa, Anyway, it's Perman, um, it's 20 count, and so I'm gonna stitch one over 20 count. I'm gonna try with DMC. Okay, also in the mail, I meant to start with this. Okay, I told you Carrie in Stitches sends me postcards. I'm so bad about correspondence lately, and I'm truly sorry. I think I said this last time, but um, I'm so behind on thank you notes. I have a list. I need to send Carrie some postcards. I wanted to send Carrie a postcard and I was like, oh, I'm going to go get a postcard. <laughs> the way my brain is. Okay. I'm not even going to apologize for how long this video is because I had so many like little rabbit holes and stuff. I was going to go down to the London Bridge and into one of the gift shops and get a postcard there. Right? And then I'm like, why would Carrie want a postcard from the London Bridge? Like, they sold it to us. So they're kind of over it, right? So what's she going to do? Get it and be like, oh, that's lovely. You just sent me a card of some old thing we were done with. How nice. <laughs> Why would I send her that? I don't know. I need to go find some postcards. But right now it needs to be at the Arizona, the desert or something. But certainly not one of their old cast offs that they sold to some American. Right? Oh. Anyway, that's my brain. Carrie might love actually a postcard from the London Bridge. I don't know. And I know my attempt at a British accent was terrible. Uh, but anyway, she sent me this adorable card. It's been wonderful getting to chat with Carrie. I actually sent her a voice message the other day uh, because I was too lazy to type. I do that sometimes. If I have a lot to say, I don't want to type it all out, so I send it in a voice message. I sent her like three or four in a row. They're one minute long each. <laughs> anyway, so then she sent me this one. And I love this. One, I love the card. Life's too short for beige. I got to show you the back, though. <laughs> How perfect is that, right? She knows me. I need to like have this stapled to my shirt or something or just uh, like taped to my computer all the time. Because speaking of, okay, actually I already did the uh, cross stitch website. All right, one thing <clears throat> that I bought and I actually used my Amazon uh, reward points for these. Um, I decided to get two of the sulky petites and I'm going to show you that I'm going to take out the papers and show you the colors um, and I'll be having up somewhere here um, what collections these were from because um, I forgot what they are and they're not written on the box at least I didn't see them on the box maybe I'll say in this paper no. Um, inside though, they give you a little mini printed color card of all of their, all of their things. But look at the variegation in this box. There you go. That's nice and big. Those are super pretty, right? And the last thing I got in the mail is my annual purchase, buy them every year, of my Clark's shoes. Yep, it's that time. New flip-flops. And I always get them in pewter because it matches everything. Uh, so, yeah, got them. I'm all ready to go. 
So that's it. Tonight's stitching is going to be the traveling stitcher. I will check in with you tomorrow and wrap up this week's video. I know I chatted a lot and I'm not even going to apologize for that anymore. I really need to stop. Like I know in my heart of hearts that I intend to only have a 45 minute video tops and um, I usually end up recording about an hour and 15 minutes and try to edit out 15 minutes worth. Sometimes I'm successful. Most times it ends up being about an hour and five minutes. I just guys have a lot of say, to say all the time. Like blah, 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 blah. My mouth runs constantly. Anyway, um, I will check in with you tomorrow. Bye. Hi everyone. Today is Saturday, March 30th. And I wanted to show you last night's progress, which wasn't as amazing as I'd hoped. But... I still have tomorrow, right? Um, I literally stopped. <laughs> I just left my needle hanging. I just noticed that. I, I don't even care right now. Um, I finished the vine over here. And I started the W right there. On this side over here, I finished. Um, I, I almost said I typed. I have stitch nanigans in there and the little flower and leaf and I sort of made the stitch nanigans come off that leaf. Um, I couldn't dot the eyes, but I, I think it's okay. I think it's gonna be fun. And it sort of blends into the grass so it doesn't like stand out. I almost thought I should make it pink. I don't know. I think I'm gonna leave it green. Um, <clears throat> yesterday I mentioned it was kind of a rough week sewing, wasn't getting stuff done. One of the reasons for that is, was my even feed foot. Briefly, an even feed foot feeds fabric evenly. Uh, imagine that, um, from the top. Um, so when your feed dogs on your sewing machine come up, the even feed foot comes down and they pull the fabric through evenly. Um, if you've been sewing or if you don't sew, um, you may not know that sometimes the the uh, feed dogs at the bottom of the sewing machine will pull the bottom through fast, pull the bottom fabric faster through the machine than the top. So I use tip, if you're making anything with bulky seams or anything like that, bags, project bags, your even feed foot is your best friend. My even feed foot has been wearing out for probably the last, I think I told Sarah probably a year and a half. I'm thinking it's probably been at least two years. Had my sewing machine, it's a, a semi-industrial straight stitch sewing machine. There are about five machines out there that are pretty similar and they all have interchangeable feet. I shouldn't say that. I know that several have interchangeable feet. So I've got the brother um, PQ 1500S. Um, there's the Juki TL98, the Juki TL2000 QI, QL, the Juki TL2010 Q, whatever. I think the 2000 and the 2010 have the same feet, but I'm not positive about that. I know the TL98 does. Um, the Janome 1600P, um, the Baby Lock Jane, uh, if you have a Baby Lock Jane, that is, or if you're looking at buying sewing machines, um, that's the exact same machine as the Brother PQ 1500S. They're made in the same factory. They just have different uh, brand names put on them. FYI. Um, anyway, so uh, this foot, I thought I'm going to replace it. My I've been having a lot of sewing problems lately. It's been taking me a lot longer to make bags. So I look up the foot price. It's $99. I'm like, what? I find it on sale. I think the on sale price was $79.99, 80 bucks. I'm like, I can't do that right now. I just had to buy all, all of my interfacings. I use three different kind of interfacings. I buy them by the bolt. Had to buy all three. It was 150 bucks last week. Had to buy more zippers and glitter vinyl. That was like another 60 bucks. Had to buy more bag labels. That was 90 bucks. I'm like, that's four, that's $300. I, I was like, I can't, I cannot also have to buy this foot. And that's a ridiculous price. 
So I'm, why am I sharing all of this on my stitching channel? Because several of you sew. If any of you have a semi-industrial high speed straight stitch machine, this is for you. <laughs> I went to Amazon and I found a sewing machine foot for $36.05. Same foot. Exact same foot. The only way I know it's different is mine came with the sticker and I'm one of those people that if I don't have to take a sticker off something, I won't. I'll leave it on there. Brett, I, that's left over from Brad. I used to always take stickers off. Um, this machine, or this machine, this foot works just like this. As a matter of fact, I forgot how loud and noisy my walking foot was because when I first got this machine, uh, the walking foot was incredibly noisy. It used to drive me bonkers. Well, it's super quiet now. And the reason why is I have my machine, I run my foot hard. My even feed foot is always on my sewing machine unless I'm piecing for quilting. And it's been a while since I've done that. If I'm making bags, this foot is on. And I just wore it down. I completely wore it out. Um, I put this foot on and all of the previous problems I had from the other foot went away. So I'm telling you this because that is an amazing price for this foot. It really is a heavy duty foot, which is why they price it so expensive. And I know if you have like a, a Horizon Memory Craft or a Bernina, you're laughing at me talking about uh, the cost of this foot being $100 because all of those feet are really expensive, but FYI. Um, so that was one of the other purchases I made this week. This week has been all about all the different purchases. Okay. Before I go, I have, I, I want to do some shout outs. I've been meaning to mention these people for a while and I keep talking so much, um, and editing things out of my video. But like I said, if today's long, it's long. Um, so I have a, uh, I want to mention people that are out of the U S so for me, they're international, um, floss tubers for you. If you're nearby, then they're local, right? Um, but I have, I've been friends with Karen. She is Ruby rat bags, uh, with a Z on floss tube. She's only made a few with her daughter and, um, I'm friends with her on Facebook and I have to say, Karen, she brings so much color and comfort and joy to my world with her pictures on Facebook. Um, and so I realized she had a floss tube, so I wanted to go watch her. Now she's in Scotland, I believe it's Scotland. Um, and she's just a joy to watch. Just, she exudes so much happiness and, um, energy and just be yourself, enjoy what you're doing. She's, that's what she's putting out there. That's what I pick up. I'm just, am so happy when I watch her videos. Um, and, and like I said, I think she's only got three. Um, so I hope she'll make more. Uh, another one is cross stitch. And, and I don't know that her channel is this. I'll put whatever her channel is up there. Inchi and her daughter Chichek. Uh, and I think I may have said both of those wrong. I try really hard, but, um, now I cannot remember where they are. Um, and I, I feel really bad about that because I, I don't remember. Um, her son just got into a university, uh, a medical school, Rotterdam, Holland, right? Anyway, congratulations to him. Um, I know she is very excited about that, but, um, she, her daughter is, I believe she's eight years old. I think I got this one right. Um, <laughs> and, um, they are both very enthusiastic about their stitching. Um, I really enjoy watching them and they've only got a few videos out there. So go check them out if you'd like. Another one who has two videos out, I believe is Inga. I cannot even say her last name at all. I'm not even going to try. Um, now she is in England. I believe she's been there for 12, 14 years, something like that. And, but she was originally from Lithuania. Um, I wouldn't have guessed that because she has a perfect English accent. Well, to me, um, she sounds like what Englanders sound like. Um, anyway, so I really enjoyed listening to her. 
and I hope you'll go check her out as well. And one that I don't want to forget, she's not new. She's been around forever. I don't want to say that. Not forever. A couple years, I think. Um, is Dawn, Frosty X Stitch. Dawn is amazing. She always comments on videos. She's always stitching such lovely things. Um, and I really enjoy listening to Dawn. So I believe she is in Switzerland. Yes. Uh, and I'm honestly really surprised because she's been around for a while. She's only got like 399 subscribers and she just put out a really sweet video um, the other day that really made me think about uh, we need to um, we need to remember to shout out some of the people who've been around for a while. At least mention them. Um, I enjoy watching Dawn's videos. I don't think I've ever mentioned her on my channel and whenever she puts up a video I watch. Now I have been remiss. I've said this. I don't know if any of you uh, if I've edited it out or not but I have I'm I'm like caught up on floss tube on the people that I watch. Um, I've got like three videos in my watch later. Um, it's been kind of amazing. Um, and I, I, but I've been really bad about going back and commenting. Uh, and so I've, I've been caught up with a lot of you just haven't mentioned it. Um, and I'm going to try to do better about that in the evening, whatever I watch during the day, I'm going to try to go back and make comments on. Okay. Um, coupon codes for shops. Today is the last day for Silk Stitches Pattern Etsy shop, shop to get 25% off. Code is Easter 25 off. Her link will be below. Uh, she's got some really cute uh, PDF patterns. Um, also, Threads Entwined, Trish, my girl. Um, her shop is having till the end of May 15% off. And several of you have messaged me to let me know that you've ordered from her shop and you're really pleased. Thank you for letting me know that. I know Trish is really working hard to make sure she's giving everyone great customer service. Um, so I appreciate you giving her shop a chance and um, seeing, seeing her product there, seeing what you like. Um, uh, and just letting me know that that went well for you. I'm really grateful, grateful to Trish for all of her hard work. Um, and her coupon code for you for 15% off is stitch all the things, all lowercase. Uh, I'll put the coupon code below. Uh, so you will have that. So don't forget that. Um, I also received a free, really awesome PDF ebook, um, to kind of look at and do whatever I wanted with. And I'd like to mention it on my channel. Um, and I hope to do that next week. I just, um, messaged a couple days ago to ask permission to post some of the photos from the Etsy listing on my video. And because I haven't heard back yet, I don't, I don't really want to talk about it, but, uh, until I do, because I really do want to share some of these pictures, I'm telling you this PDF book just rocks my world. Um, so I hope they'll get back to me. If not, I will follow up next week so I can share that. Okay. So that's it for this week. Um, lots of stuff going on next week. Uh, my plans, plans. Okay. Now this week I looked at my calendar. I was kind of disappointed to find that this week I was supposed to be working on burlesque zombie portrait, but you know, I'm trying desperately hard to finish up. I just realized the light is coming in. And streaking right across. I'm so sorry. Um, I, I'm just going to finish it up though. Um, I'm going to be finishing up Traveling Stitcher. Um, there is a little tiny square in that pattern. I don't have the pattern in here. Uh, for a needles case, um, I would like to get that stitched up. But my goal is to finish this one uh, by tomorrow and hopefully get started on the needle case cover tomorrow and have that finished by Monday. Um, and so what I'm going to do is work on burlesque zombie portrait this week. This coming week was supposed to be letters for mom. I'm bumping that. I really want to get back to my girl, Ava. Uh, so plans, get this stitched, finished, um, and burlesque zombie portrait. So that's what you'll be seeing next week. Oh, the giveaway. Darn it. I knew I was forgetting something. Okay. So I, uh, just finished getting... The last few names closing out the other video by closing out I mean changing the title um, and I ended up with 62 people on the giveaway and if you remember it's Lizzie Kate's life is not measured 
and I scoot it over more because the sun is just like, see, right here. <laughs> yeah, uh, just recording too late in the day. All right, so I've got my random number generator. Um, I need to change it to 62. You can see there. Hopefully it'll focus. Does it say? Yeah. I just, everything seems to have a hard time focusing. There we go. Generate. And the number is 60. And 60 is Kirsty Lawson. So, Kirsty, um, I'm going to comment on your comment, but if you see this first, because sometimes I forget to do that right away, um, just send me uh, an email with your address. Uh, my name, my name, my email is christine.stitchallthethings at gmail.com. It's always in the box below. Okay, so this week, what am I giving away? I am giving away a Dimensions Gold Nuggets kit. Is the full kit. It's called Pairs on Twelve, and it's got everything you need in there. I'm not going to, because it's taped, so I'm not going to open it up. Um, but it's stitched on black, and it, they give you the twall fabric. I do believe, I think that's in there. Yes, I see it in there. Um, the instructions, everything's inside, um, but I don't, I don't want to take apart the kit. Um, but just know it is a little damage. This was, um, gift, not gifted. It was, um, given to me in it, in the huge stash. Um, and this is not something I'll stitch, so I'm going to pass it on. Um, so if you would like to stitch this, tell me what your favorite fruit is. It doesn't have to be pears. I hate pears. This is pretty. I don't like pears at all. Uh, what is my favorite fruit? Uh, currently I'm one, I'm thinking about fruit that I like in pies. <sighs> I'm going to say grapes. Um, and only because I love to munch on grapes, uh, seedless grapes. Um, and usually the purple ones. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I need to wrap this up. Um, this video is super long. I, I think it's going to be really long. So I kept, kept saying I wasn't going to edit. I'm totally going to have to edit things out. If, if this video ends up being an hour and 15 minutes, which seems super long, know that I still way edited it down. So with that, um, thank you so much for watching, for commenting. And, um, if you have time, if you come back, um, to a video to comment. I really appreciate that. I, I do know the effort that takes. Um, if you like my videos, please subscribe. Um, and I know everybody says it, but don't forget to tap the bell so you get notifications when I post. Um, and I hope you guys are all having a great weekend. And don't forget, stitch all the things. Bye.